Hello, welcome to Big Bobby's uh, cooking instructorial uh, guitar educational video. Today I'm going to be telling you about uh, playing the guitar and, and cooking a good old-fashioned barbecue. First, uh, we're going to take the, the, the hog and we're going to cut it up real fine, you know, big old slops or a hog. And you're going to take it and open your barbecue grill up and you bunch, dump a bunch of charcoal. And we in Alabama, we don't cook with no pussy propane because the pussy propane is not how you cook a barbecue. You got to use charcoal because that gives it that good smoky hair on your balls flavor. Now, second of all, you're going to get your damn guitar and you're going to take it and tune it. And you're going to do it like this. You take the lowest uh, string right here and you, and you just drop it real low like that. Real like that. Nice play real fucking heavy metal right there. That's how you play the first step to being a successful Pantera guitar player. And the second thing you're going to do is Make sure your grill is cooking. You're going to take some newspaper and crumple them up, and then you put them in under the grill and get the fire going with the coals. And that gets the fire real nice and hot, and you let them, the coals just simmer for a while. Shut the grill, and then you take out your guitar, and you play a, a guitar riff like that. So uh, when you're playing the guitar, you got to use your whole damn arm to play the, the, the picking. Because if you play with your damn, your, your hand, you ain't going to get no power. So you got to use your whole damn arm when you're picking. All right, now you open your grill up. And then you look at all the, the coals that be simmering around and hot. And now you take your hog and you slap it on the grill and just uh, let it sit for a little while. But before you do that and shut the grill, you're going to take your lemon juice and your yellow sauce and you just dump it all over the hog. And that'll make it good and sloppy and savory. And that's, and that's going to make it. Uh, tastes real good later on. We've got a good, real savory, juicy flavor for the hog. All right, now you shut your grill and let that simmer for about 35 minutes. That'll give you enough time to listen to a, a Pantera album or, yeah, Vulgar Display of Power or something, or a great Southern tree and killing. You just uh, you play a, play along with it. Why are you still looking at uh second of all, you going all right, this is the part where we take the barbecue off the grill. You take the hog off the grill and you put your hot dogs on the grill because now you're cooking the winners and you you're not a queer because you're cooking winners, but you're just gonna eat them. And you take the the hog off the barbecue and you you set it up. And that's when you check the temperature of the of the hog, and you stick the thermometer in the hog, and you check it. And if it's about 460, and you got a good hog that's ready to eat, and uh, cover in yellow sauce and cook it. Now, when we put the hog, the the hot dogs on the grill, you're gonna uh, cover up, cover up the grill. And uh, you just wait about 25 minutes and let them get nice hot. Turn them over every uh, about five minutes or so, and then you take them out. You're going to have some good hot dogs. So that's how you cook. Uh, I was just uh, offering this instructional video since uh, Leela wanted me to do this for the, the benefit of mankind and all that good shit. All right. I got to go. So I'll see y'all later. I'll be at Walmart.